In this video, I'm going to give you the number one truth of affiliate marketing and the 13 factors that contribute to your success or failure. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find different ways to make money online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you are interested in different tips and tricks on how to make money online. Alright, so in this video I'm going to give you the number one truth and 13 factors that contribute to your success or failure with affiliate marketing. Here we go. The number one truth is anyone can do affiliate marketing. It's that simple, it's that easy. But there are 13 truths, there's 13 factors that contribute to whether you're going to be successful or not, and I'm gonna break those down for you right now. Again, anyone can be successful in affiliate marketing, but most people fail, most people aren't successful for these reasons. Number one, it takes consistent action. You're not going to be able to create one piece of content, send one email, do one thing in order to find sustained success online. You need to do consistent action every single day or multiple times per day in order to get the level of success that you're looking for. So that's number one. Number two, unrealistic expectations. You're probably asking yourself right now, you're probably searching through YouTube or on blog posts on Google, how come I'm not getting 3,000 views per day on my YouTube channel or on my blog post. If you're just getting started out, know that it takes time and it's a gradual upward increase and an upward incline in order to find the success that you're looking for. Know that on day one, you'll probably only have friends and family that are coming to check out your channel. On day 30, you may still only have friends and family, but you may have one subscriber. That's how it works. You have to have realistic expectations, set realistic goals for yourself in order to meet that level of success that you want and not be a statistic and not be a failure. So that's number two. Number three, I mentioned in number one, it takes, takes consistent action. Number three, it takes persistent action. You are going to meet word roadblocks. You are going to meet hurdles. You need to address those hur hurdles. You need to address those roadblocks, get over them, get through them, and move past it. There will, pe there will be things, there will be people, there will be situations that will tell you to quit. They will tell you to stop. You need to move past them so that you can find the success that you're looking for. Persistence is key. Being a little bit stubborn is key because maybe your friends and family don't understand about making money online. Maybe your friends and family don't quite understand what affiliate marketing is and so they're going to be telling you that you're wasting your time. They're going to be telling you that you should stop. You are going to meet roadblocks. You need to be persistent through them. Next is there's no game plan. You need to have a game plan if you're getting into affiliate marketing. Now remember, affiliate marketing is marketing. And when it's a marketing, when because it's marketing, you need to have a business plan. You need to have a plan of action so that you can be successful. You need to really sit down and think about how you are going to become a successful affiliate marketer. If you are planning to turn this into a business and not something you do for funsies, because people that do things for funsies don't often win. People that have a game plan, some people that have, the people that have a plan of action are the ones that succeed, and that's how you need to look at it. You need to address this as a business, make business decisions, and take actions as if you owned a business, because that's what affiliate marketing is. Affiliate marketing is a business. Next is you need to realize affiliate marketing is a skill that needs to be developed. When, with affiliate marketing, you're creating content. And most people don't start off creating the perfect piece of content. Most people don't start off creating great content right away. And that's regardless if you're blogging, if you're podcasting, if you're creating YouTube videos. You need to understand that this is a skill. Affiliate marketing is a skill. Each individual aspect of affiliate marketing is a skill that you need to learn, master, and develop. Creating a call to action is a skill. Also, you need to realize that within this skill, Everyone attacks or addresses the skill in a different way. You can't tell, you can't have the same approach that I have because you won't be authentic, you won't be successful, and you won't make money and you'll quit. So you need to develop the skill in your way, in your technique, so you can find the success that you're looking for. The next reason why people don't, don't succeed or people fail is because they don't recognize success. Earlier I mentioned, you know, the first day you're going to have your friends and family come in and check out your YouTube channel, your blog post, or your podcast. On day 30th, you may have one person that you've never met before come to your channel and subscribe. That's success. Believe it or not, having that one person is success. You can't get to the thousandth person. You can't get to a million people. You can't have a million reach until you get that first person. So you need to realize that success is with each individual person that visits your YouTube channel or your blog post or whatever it may be. The next reason is 
we have this, we've been conditioned to think that we should get paid shortly after we've completed a task. If you work a nine to five, you know that every week or every other week at, or at the worst, every month, you're going to get paid a certain amount of money. With affiliate marketing, it doesn't work that way. In most cases, you're going to need to put in cons consistent, persistent action in order to get paid later on down the road. That later can be a month, two months, six months, a year, but you need to invest in that time and get paid back at a later date. Most people aren't able to create pieces of content without getting paid directly as a result. And that's why a lot of people fail. They don't realize that that we've been conditioned to expect a payment or, or know that a payment will come for actions that we complete. With affiliate marketing and with making money online in general, you actually will be creating large pieces of content with the expectation that you'll get paid, but it's not guaranteed. If you put in consistent and persistent action with a game plan, you will get paid eventually for the amount of work that you've done. The next reason why people fail is they don't actually solve problems. With affiliate marketing, it, there's really two types of, of affiliate marketers. There's ones that, that make money by solving problems, and there's others that make money by just putting their links out there. They they make a sales page, they, they make a sales video, and they say, here, buy my product because I made this. The people that create that sales video and they don't add value and they, 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 don't, they don't solve problems, they don't make any money. Yes, they may make money in the short term by spamming links, but that's not a way to create a successful long-term business. People that are successful over the long term, they identify problems and they solve them. For example, you may Google how to make money online. You may come across a video that says, hey, click this link and you'll make a thousand dollars a day and they don't provide any value, you won't click that link. However, if you come across a video where they say, these are the 10 steps that you need to take to make money online, oh, by the way, here's a process that I use, you're more than likely going to click that second link. So make sure that you're solving problems, you're resolving issues, you're addressing concerns, that's how you'll, you'll find success in affiliate marketing. Next, and, and this is a, another big one, is most people aren't willing to sacrifice the present for the future. And basically what I mean by that is, if you are working a full-time job currently, you work nine to five, six, six to three, whatever. After you get off work, maybe you have a family, you have kids, you have other responsibilities. They go to bed. Now it's your time to put in additional work. You, you have to sacrifice going out with friends and, and maybe having that drink, that nightcap, your favorite TV show. If you sacrifice that that stuff, that extra stuff in the beginning to, to work on your business, to grow your business, to make this your full-time job, you can eventually find success online. Most people aren't willing to to sit up on a Friday night and come up with different content, content ideas. They wanna go out and hang out with their friends or maybe they wanna get that extra hour of sleep when an hour a day can really change your life. This is huge. Once you realize that you can sacrifice a couple hours now to get 10, 15 hours in a year from now, that will completely change your life. That's how you need to look at affiliate marketing. Sacrifice a, a, an hour, a half an hour, sacrifice any time that you have now, and you'll be able to make that money back up plus more in the future. Next is listening to too many people. One of the issues that I have when I started out, and I'm sure that you're going through this too, is you can get sucked in into YouTube video after YouTube video, uh, blog post after blog post, with people telling you how you can make money online. If you watch 10 different YouTube videos by 10 different people, they're going to give you five different ways to make money online. What you need to do and the surefire way to find success is to pick a path and stay with it. If they tell you to create a hundred blog posts, create a hundred blog posts and see what happens after you've created a hundred. If, if you want to do uh, 50 YouTube videos, create a YouTube, 50 YouTube videos and then move on to the next thing. The only way for you to find success is to pick someone that you know, like, and trust and follow what they say, follow what they suggest. That's one of the primary ways that people are failing as they're jumping from person to person. Next, and, and one of the reasons why I know that I have failed in the past and I wasn't able to find the level of success that I was looking for is that I just had never done it before. One of the issues that we go through mentally is if you've never done something before, you have that fear of not being able to do it. And this is key, key. this is huge. Think about something that you had this huge fear, maybe your first day at a new job, maybe you, you wanted to jump rope, you wanted to double dutch, anything really. You wanted to dunk, you had never dunked before, and so there was this fear about 
trying to dunk. Maybe you thought you couldn't do it. Maybe you, you, you thought you weren't capable of doing the job just because you had never done it before. But once you do something once, it becomes very, very easy to do it over and over and over again. And the same thing goes with affiliate marketing. If you've never made your first dollar online, it's very easy to think that it's not possible to make money online. But once you make that first dollar, you get this sense of accomplishment. You get the sense of, okay, I can do this. And you go out and you do the same thing over and over again and, and until you meet the level of success that you're looking for. So this is key. Many people fail just simply because they haven't done it before. Well, another reason why people fail is they they're just they they don't realize you need to spend money if you are opening a business if you're starting a business most businesses need to to invest money to make money just think when you started your first job you didn't already have all the clothes that you needed let's say you 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 started your first office job and you had to wear a tie maybe you didn't already have a tie you had to go out and buy a tie in order to make money without that tie you couldn't work at that place the same thing goes for affiliate marketing and making money online you will need to invest in order to grow and scale your business investing could mean getting a nicer camera could mean getting a better microphone. It could mean investing in a course um, or, or a computer. But just realize that in order for you to make money online, in order for you to be successful in affiliate marketing, you will need to invest something. Whether it's a it's an it's an autoresponder, um, maybe it's invest in paid advertising. You will need to invest something e e eventually. You may not need to invest right away, but somewhere down the line, you are going to need to invest in order to scale your business. The final thing, and this is what I have really taken to heart. The difference between successful people and failures is you have to be willing to outwork everyone that you see as a competitor that's above you and below you. With making money online, there are millions and billions of people across the world that want what you have or want or you want what they have. And so you have to be willing to go out and, and outwork. And outwork doesn't necessarily mean creating content every single day. It might be thinking of different content ideas. It might be investing in, in, a, in a course to learn a little bit more about um, email marketing. You have to be willing to put in the time, energy, and effort to outwork the person that is in front of you, the person that's behind you, because that person behind you wants what you have. So you have to be willing to outwork everybody else you should work up every, we should wake up every single day and say i am going to outwork the person in front of me because they they have what i want if you address if you approach your business as as being able and willing and wanting to outwork that next person you will find the level of success that you're looking for with affiliate marketing if you want to know everything that i know about affiliate marketing click the first link in the description you'll also be given a free guide to learn everything i know about email marketing if you know anything about me you know that i am a huge proponent of email marketing because it converts at twice the rate as affiliate marketing Marketing. So make sure you click out click the first link in the description to learn everything that I know about email marketing.